Liverpool FC within Tursh, striking distance of the top spot over in League Two as they close in to just two points behind the current leaders, Stockport County. What's going to go on this weekend? We're going to take a little look next. <laughs> Actually, number 28, that's right, I believe. Over in the League 2. And we'll get to that in a second, of course. If you know where you've been, smash your subscribe button. We're going to see all things League 2 related. Blah, 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 blah. World football related. We're going to all hear boys under one Rusty. What I didn't tell you is actually uh, Deadpool FC, a.k.a. Wrexham, have a game in hand so they can actually technically be top uh, whenever this game, uh, of course, comes back around again. We'll take a look at it all of it in a second, of course. Big, big shout out to my VIPs. They are the patrons. You know who you are. And, of course, if you do, make sure you bang the subscribe button. Whopping 78% of you are not subscribed to the channel. Now, we are still, uh, so I do apologize once again, we are still uh, not really. I'm not supposed to be here. We're not supposed to be recording this video as we are doing right here. I was supposed to be uh, on the road, but that actually got postponed a week. So everything got pushed back a week. So we're still not bringing you back up to date with the Prediction League. We, are, we will. I will be busy over the next week or so getting those numbers right. Uh, but we are still a little bit rough around the edges. So I'll give you an update with that. Maybe next time we see me. I don't know. But let's recap the results anyway. And of course, let's take a look at uh, what's going on this coming weekend, of course. And I am coming at you a little bit early. So here uh, we go. Recap of the results there. Of course, the picks, uh, my picks on the left, the real deal is on the right. So Stanley with a loss to Gilliam, 2-1 loss there. Not great. I went with a home win on that one. Meanwhile, uh, Colchester United have uh, got a draw against Bradford City. I went with the away side as well. Salford City with a big one near win under the new regime there. I went with the one near win for Crawley. So not a great start for me in the old pick world. Meanwhile, Crew did get, get the victory over Swindon Town. Two on win there. I got that one bot bang on the nose. Doncaster Rovers did uh, lose to Newport County. Of course, it's looking all a little bit crappy for Doncaster this season. Meanwhile, Morecambe uh, could only uh, they must have a draw against Mansfield, which is of course better than I thought. I went with a, I went with a two 0 away win. The Vegans uh, two 0 lost to Harrogate Town. Goodness gracious me, Troy Deeney and the boys are in free. -fall. Fall out with a home win on that one. Meanwhile, Grimsby, look at that. Is that right? Is that legit? A 5 5 thriller over at Grimsby. Good description. We 10 goal thriller. You don't see that very often. I went with a 1 0 win for Notts County uh, and I got it wrong. Meanwhile, Stockport County with a big 3 1 win over Walsall. 3 0 win in my eyes. Sutton United 2 and Barrow 2. I went with a 2 1 win. Very close to that one, but unfortunately, no. MK Dons with a big 2 1 win over Tramier. I went with a home win and Wrexham did beat Wimbledon 2 0. I went with a 3 0, uh, of course. So that's the situation there. Uh, what about, of course, the situation? Situation in the table. Well, I'll tell you, the table looks like this right here right now. Stockport County are two points clear over Wrexham. They do have, uh, they have played one game more. Massive also uh, within touching distance as well, getting into that top spot. So it is a three horse race at the moment for the top spot, or at least the automatics. Can't rule out Barrow or Crew at the moment. Notts County, MK Dons, and the chasing pack. Look at Gillingham, look at Harrogate. Oh my gosh. They are all in the mixer there. And of course, going down at the moment is Sutton. It is Forest Green, but it could all change very, very soon. Of course, speaking of very, very soon, we are looking forward to the next round of games now this week there is a there is a game on tuesday mansfield against forest green uh so that's of course uh one that will affect the situation of the table and also a little bit of the form when we get to those games respectively so but let's get into it of course i look forward to the first one which is Salford, which is colchester and that's actually coming at you on friday January the 19th. Now, these two sides have played each other nine times in 2019. We've got one win for Salford, six for Colchester, and there's been two draws, of course. Biggest win for Salford was a 2 0 win. They got five goals scored in those nine games, 0 0.56 goals a game on average. Colchester, though, 3 0 win, the biggest score, 11 goals in those nine games, 1.22 goals a game on average. Colchester, without a win in the last five, they're down to 22nd right now in the table with 25 points on the board. Of course, Danny Crowley coming in uh, with his brother, uh, of course, hoping to turn things around for Colchester. Meanwhile, Salford, under Carl Robinson, also 21st spot right now. 20 Seven points on the ball. Back to back games now without a loss. So, uh, coming at you though, last time around over in Salford, it was a 1 win for Colchester back in April 2023. The bookies have 11 8 is your Salford, it's 7 4 is your Colchester, and 13 5 is the draw. I'm going to go with Salford on this one. 2 1 win. I think Carl Robertson is a great coach. Uh, I think this could be a good marriage between themselves and Salford. As for the Crowleys, uh, the stock is low, so low. Uh, at the moment that they need something to go their way of course formerly of what Huddersfield formerly of Lincoln formerly of, of Pompey things haven't turned uh, uh, been rosy enough for the Crowleys just yet so uh, this one's going to be a tough one I don't I 
I think I think survival is probably on on the agenda for both these two sides, and then maybe next season we'll see where they go. Meanwhile, Barrow they were taking on Crew in a bit of a Northwest Crunch Clash on Saturday, January the twentieth. Now these two sides have played each other five times in twenty seventeen. We've got three wins for Barrow, one win for Crew, and one draw. Of course, biggest win for Barrow, three 0 When they got seven goals scored in those five games, one point four zero goals a game on average. Crew though under Lee Bell, three 0 win their biggest. Also scoring just four goals in those five games, not point eight zero goals a game on average. Crew on fifty eight percent form for them right now. I'm beating the last four, three wins on the bounce. They are fifth with 47 points on the board. Up against the Barrow side, just one defeat in the last six, 58% form for them also. They are fourth with 49 points on the board, uh, of course. Last round in Barrow is a 3-0 win for Barrow back in October 2022. A lot of goals in these games and the fact the last three combined, nine goals have been scored between the two sides, uh, of course, uh, no matter which way you go. Uh, of course, 11-10 on Barrow. They are favoured here. 11-4 is the draw. 30-5 is the away side here. I th I'm going to call it, going to call it right down the middle here. Point of peace. Uh, and of course, both sides still in the mix and doing well this season and hopefully should uh, continue that uh, continue moving forward. Bradford City up against Doncaster Rovers coming at you at the uh, at the uh, Valley Parade. Played each other 21 times. We've got eight wins for Bradford, nine wins for Doncaster, and there's been four draws, of course. Biggest win for Bradford, 3 0 win. They got 29 goals scored in 21 matches, 1.38 goals a game on average. Doncaster, though, 5 1 win, the biggest score, 31 goals in 21 matches, 1.48 goals a game on average. Doncaster, though, just 1 win in 6 for them right now, 25% form for them. They are 20th with 28 points on the board. Bit of a, uh, a season to forget for Doncaster at the moment. Up against the Bradford City side, also season to forget. They are 14th with 35 points on the board, but they are 42% form for them. And of course, uh, just one win in six. Uh, last time around, though, over at Valley Parade, it was a nil-nil draw back in July 2022. The odds, though, for this one, Doncaster are 7-2 for the victory. We've got Brad, uh, Bradford 10-7 on for the victory. They are favoured here. 3-1 to one is the draw. I'm going with Bradford City here. 2 on win. Doncaster, they might have to do the unthinkable and, of course, consider a change of coach. But, or just forget the season and go again next season. Gillingham, uh, they're up against the Vegans, of course, coming at you over at Gillingham. Play each other just the one time to 2023. It's been a draw and we'll talk about that shortly. Gillingham on 58% form for them right now, winning three of the last four. Uh, they are eighth at the table with 41 points on the board. They're still in the course of the discussion for at least players. Forest Green though, 25% form for them right now without a win in the last eight games. They're down there in 24th spot with just 18 points all season. That one and only draw was a nil-nil draw back in, of course, December 2023. The odds though for this one, we're looking at Gillingham 5-4 to four on for the victory. 13-5 is the draw and 10-3 is, of course, your away win here. We're going with the Gills. Uh, one nil win. I don't think uh, I don't think Troy Deeney is the right man for the job here. Uh, unfortunately, I think they're going to they're gonna eventually succumb to probably relegation, if I'm completely honest with you. Meanwhile, oh, at the best, Scott, it'll be also It'll be Accrington Stanley, of course, coming at you also on the 20th of Jan. Played each other six times in 2006. We've got two wins for Walsall, four for Accrington. Has been zero draws, of course. Walsall, though, 3-2 win the biggest score. Eight goals in those six games, 1.33 goals a game on average. Stanley, though, of course, 2-1 win the biggest score. Ten goals in six games, 1.67 goals a game on average. Accrington, though, 42% form for them right now. Back-to-back -back defeats for them heading into this one. Just one win in the last five. They are 12th in the table with 38 points on the board. Up against, of course, the Walsall side. 50% form for them right now. Winning three and losing three of the last six. They are 13th. Uh, 36 points on the board, of course. Just two points separating the two sides heading into this one. No, Stanley uh, did uh, pick up the victory last round at the best Scott back in September 2018. That was in League One. It was a one-nil win way back when. The odds, though, for this one, we got Walsall 2019 on for the victory. 13-5 is a draw. And 13-5 is also your away win here. We're going to go with the hosts here, though. Walsall so 2-0 win. Uh, of course, give themselves an outside discussion, of course, perhaps for the playoffs this season. And we'll see if they can uh, continue to map that challenge moving forward. Harrogate Town up against Grimsby, of course, coming at you this coming weekend. Played each other seven times in 2015. We've got four wins for Harrogate, two for Grimsby. And there's been one draw, of course. Biggest win for Harrogate, 2-1 win. They've got 15 goals scored in those uh, seven matches. 2.14 goals a game on average. Grimsby, though, 4-1 win. The biggest score 15 goals as well in those seven games. 2.14 heading into this one as well. Grimsby, though, just one win in the last six. 33% for them. They are 19th at the table with 28 points on the board. Up against Haddock Town, four wins in the last six. 75% form for them. They are ninth, of course, <coughs> salvaging their season here with 40 points on the board at the moment. Last around, though, over at Haddock, it was a 3-2 win for Haddock back in Boxing Day 2022. Uh, the odds for this one, though, we're looking at it. Uh, we're looking, where are we? 7-5 is your Haddock. 17-10 to 10 is your Grimsby. 13-5 is the draw. 2-1 win uh, on the road here for me, for Grimsby. A surprise, surprise uh, uh, with that one. Maybe I, I should have should have uh, seen the form book of Haddock because they have been 
cooking gas and, of course, kicking some ass as well. Cooking gas and kicking ass. That's what Harry got doing. But going with Grimsby, going to stick with it. Uh, I'm gonna, I made my call. Made, I slept. I made my bed, so I'm going to bloody sleep in it. Anyway, Mansfield up against Sutton United, of course, coming at you this coming weekend. Pleasure the five times. Two, two, one. We've got one win for Mansfield, three for Sutton, and there's been one draw. Uh, of course, Mansfield, 2 0 win the biggest, scoring five goals in those five games. Of course, that's a goal a game on average. Sutton, though, 2 0 win the biggest, scoring seven goals in those five games, 1.40 goals a game. Heading into this one. So, no. <clears throat> Just one win and six for them heading into this. They are 23rd right now, just 19 points all season. Mansfield flying high into third in the automatics right now. 67% form for them. However, just one win in four uh, heading into this game. Though, last time around at Mansfield, it was a nil-nil draw back in eight, uh, March 2023. Uh, of course, but the odds for this one, we're looking at uh, Mansfield 7-2 on for the victory. Of course, 19-4 is the draw and 8-1 is your long shots. That's something they are going down. They're struggling right now. 2 no win for me for Mansfield to maintain their automatic spot. Meanwhile, MK Dons up against Morecambe coming at you at the stadium MK. MK, played to the 10 times to 2007. We've got eight wins for MK. We've got one win for Morecambe, and there's been one draw. Biggest win for Milton Keys, 4 0 win. They've got 22 goals in 10 games, 2.2 goals a game on average. Morecambe under Gerard Brannan, of course, 4 2 win. The biggest scoring six goals in 10 games, 0.60 goals a game on average. Morecambe, though, without a win the last six. Good discretion me. They are 16th in the table right now, 34 points on the board. Up against MK Donside, who are flying high. Five wins in the last six, 83% form for them. They are seventh with 42 points on the board as well. Last time around, though, over at, in the, uh, at uh, Milton Keynes, it was 1 0 win for the host back in March 2023 but the odds here we have 7-4 to four on is your MK Dons 3-1 to one is your 9-2 to two is of course your way win here 2-1 win for me for the host on this one to maintain their, their, their push for the playoffs or maybe even more than that meanwhile Newport County against Wrexham it's a bit of a Welsh affair of coming at you over in Newport now they played each other 10 times in 2010 2 wins in Newport 4 for Wrexham has been 4 draws of course biggest win for the host 4-0 win they've got 8 goals scored in those 10 games 0.80 goals a game on average Wrexham's biggest win just the 2-0 win they've also got 8 goals in those 10 games 0.80 goals a game on average. Wrexham though, five wins in the last six games, 83% form for them. They are second with 52 points on the board. Up against Newport County, just one defeat of the last six, 58% form for them. They are 17th with 34 points on the board as well. Last around though, over in Newport, it was a 4 0 win for Newport back in December 2018. That was in the FA Cup. Now, the last time they played each other in the league, it was a 1 1 draw way back in January 2013 over in Newport, of course. The odds for this one, 13 to 5 is your Newport, 11 to 10 on is of course your Wrexham, and 14 to 5 is the draw here. 2 0 win for, the, of course, Temple FC, making a push for that top spot indeed standing in the way there will be not uh, will be Stockport County of course who go to Notts County uh, this weekend as well a bit of a zing zong affair played each other 17 times since 2003 we've got 7 wins for Notts County we've got 4 wins for Stockport and we've got 6 draws as well the biggest win for Notts County 4-1 win they've got 22 goals in 17 games 1.29 goals a game on average though Stockport 3-0 win the biggest score 19 goals in those 17 games 1.12 goals a game on average as well just one win in the last 4 for Stockport County bit of a bump in the road here 67% form for them they are top with 54 Four points on the board. Up against the Notts County side, six in the table, 43 points on the board, 42% form for them, uh, of course, as they head into this game uh, this weekend. Last time around, though, in Notts County, it was a 2-1 win for Notts County back in October 2021. That was in the National League. The odds, though, for this one, we got to 8-5 to five is your Notts County, 7-5 to five is your Stockport, and 11-4 is the draw. Tight one this one, going to go with a 2-1 win for Stockport on the road uh, against, uh, I'm not too sure about Notts County these days with the change of manager. We'll see how they, of course, handle the new environment. Meanwhile, Swindon up against Tramier, of course, coming at you at Swindon each other 37 times since 1994 we've got 17 wins for Swindon 14 wins for Tramier 6 draws of course the biggest win for Swindon 5-0 win they've got 55 goals in those 37 games 1.49 goals a game on average Tramier though 3-0 win the biggest 44 goals scored in 37 games 1.19 goals a game on average Tramier 67% form for them right now back to back defeats heading into this though 18th at the table with 33 points on the board up against the Swindon side 34 points on the board 25% form for them just one win in the last 6 games as well last time around though over in at Swindon it was a 1-1 draw back in November 2022 but the odds right here Right now we have seven to five. You're Swindon nine to five. You're Tramier thirteen to five. Is of course the draw here. Tight one. This one going to go with a one-one draw. Point to piece. Uh, of course, who's going to be happier? Probably Tramier as they end that back-to-back -back losing a run there. Meanwhile, we're wrapping up with Wimbledon. They're going to be taking on Crawley. Of course, coming at you over at Plough Lane. Now these two sides have played each other sixteen times since two thousand nine. We've got seven wins for Wimbledon, six for Crawley, and we've got three draws. Of course, biggest win for the Dons here. Th uh, two 0 win. They got twenty-five goals in sixteen matches. One point five six goals a game on average. Crawley though five-two win the big. 25 goals scored in 16 games 1.56 goals a game on average Corey though 3 wins 3 defeats in the last 6 they are 11th with 39 points on the board up against the Wimbledon side 42% form for them right now just 1 win in 4 10th of the table 39 points on the board as well last time around though, over at Wimbledon it was a 1-0 win for Crawley back in March 2023 but the odds right here right now we have 2-1 to as your Wimbledon uh, that's 2-1 on sorry 90-4 is the draw 16-5 is your away win here we are backing the Dons 2-0 win against Crawley to give themselves a big old boost as they of course try to keep their dream alive 
alive in the playoff run. Now, that's a situation we'll look like the table. Uh, of course, once we're, once we're done and dusted, Stockport County will remain top. Wrexham, of course, second, and Mansfield third. Still going down Sutton United and, of course, Forest Green Rovers. Be sure to get your picture predictions in using the link in the description. And, of course, we'll see how you go next time around. But until then, guys, subscribe, thumbs up. Of course, catch you later with the next one. But until then, be safe out there. And, of course, subscribe.